Hey guys, Matt Hospital, prospecting geologist here. We're going to be uh, taking a, disassembling and uh, refurbishing a gassed PCA 10 compressor for hookah diving and dredging today. Um, this one is in fairly rough shape. I'm not going to do much with the outside as, as it's mechanically sound. Um, I'm just going to clean, take apart and clean the insides and stuff. Um, tools that you want. You want a crescent wrench. A 3 16 Allen key. And you can also have it on a uh, ratchet, makes it a little easier. And then also something I've been using a lot with these, cleaning them, is a Dremel with a... Uh, little rather soft wire wheel uh, mainly to do all the cleaning and polishing of all the inside stuff that's corroded and got gunk all over it and that's been working quite well uh, please don't mind the the mess of the garage it's a wreck down here but we'll get to this guy first thing you want to do is remove the shroud that covers uh the fan coming this way it's basically just you loosen four uh Phillips head screws. So two up top here and then two down under the bottom. And then that shroud just pulls right off. You don't even have to remove the screws all the way, you just loosen them. Um, and then from there, generally you'll probably pull your filters off. These ones are already loosened and they're dead. I mean, I, I bought new ones already. I can show you what they look like inside. Um, but these are the new ones. Uh, the correct part number for these from Gast, if you want to buy them from other websites and stuff, is B300F. And that's the one specifically made for the uh, PCA10 compressor. But if you take it apart and look at it, you got a filter element in here. And then there, I think there's a whole other filter element held up in there by that... Uh, um, I forget what those are called, tension ring screw, and then your air comes down through there. Uh, and that just basically slots together. Mm -mm, I think there's a, yep, right like that. So those are the new ones that will be going on. I got two of them. They're 25 bucks a piece. But these old ones were completely trash, rusted out. The filter element was completely gone and grody as crap. So these are just garbage. Um, Hopefully yours aren't. Like I said, this compressor has been neglected for some time. So a lot of the parts like this are just dead. Let's go take that guy off. Take that one off. Set them aside. And then I found the next thing you want to do is flip her up. And you'll see, actually, I had to order new of these lines here, which do not come in a standard rebuild kit or anything for a gas compressor. So I had to special order these from gas. And they were not freaking cheap. You see, they must have got water in there and it froze and it burst that pipe. But what you want to do, I pre-loosen these two, is just loosen these. You won't be able to take this off yet. But unthread these nuts off of here. And that'll just be ready to go. And from there, what I've been doing is these four screws... I've been usually doing one cylinder at a time so that I don't get the parts mixed up. You can do it how you want, but we'll start with that there. So after you get those loosened, you'll want to take them most of the way out, but you don't want to take them out of the housing completely yet because they're actually holding a bunch of little plates and stuff all together in there that you'll want to keep an idea of which ones went where otherwise it can get a little confusing so pull it out like that and then you can flip it up and you can drop the screws out but as you can see here we have one plate, two plates, three plates. Look how dirty this thing was. 
Look how dirty these are. Just dirty, grody, grimy. And I'll go over, I'll go over how you, if you do forget which order these go in and when in, which is really easy to do, I'm going to go over how you tell based off the chamber and where it's supposed to go, how these should be set up. So that's this part taken apart. You can see it's super dirty. So now what I've been doing is basically you take these, they're very dirty. You take your little Dremel here. And you get it all cleaned up. Pretty much what you look like at the end then much much cleaner um if you're not comfortable with doing this or your reed valves and stuff are completely worn or destroyed then you're gonna have to buy a rebuild kit which will come with all these plates and everything and seals and all that and you'll have to just kind of skip these cleaning steps and then reassemble take apart and reassemble so yep we'll just kind of be doing a whole bunch of dremeling now Okay, so now that we have all these plates and all this all cleaned up, or you put new ones in, we are going to dig into the actual, uh, it's like a little piston in here basically, you can kind of see it move. And there's little, uh, I guess they're, they're rings, but they're some sort of composite fabric material and you want to take that out and clean it but you got to remove this cylinder head first um, which is just held on by two there's two allen screws here Now with that removed, now this floats and it will pull off. So it'll pull off and it'll expose the piston head. Um, now depending on how dirty yours is or how old it is, what you want to do is take a uh, the same Dremel I was using before with a little tiny wire wheel and clean the whole inside of the uh, this here. But that's already clean. So basically now you have this piston here and you can see there's there's these rings all through here and they're split like that. So you take each of those apart and clean down in there and look for any corrosion or anything and clean all that off. Um, or if you have a, a rebuild kit, you're probably it's gonna replace all these, all these uh cylinder sleeves or not cylinder sleeves, piston rings, basically, because this is what's providing your air. Um, so you want to go through, 
either clean and replace or just clean and then once you're done with all that you just assemble it the same way you took it apart you're just going to slide that guy back in there find your two allen bolts put those back on there's one Threaded and started. Good there. That's good there. So now is the assembly of, of these guys here. The uh, your reed valves. Um, this can be a little complicated if you haven't done it before, but basically when you're looking at this, this side here has a plug and your intake. This side here gets air from the other side, the other piston over here, and expels it. So these two piston heads are connected via this lower section. So this is your inside, this is your outside. And that's what you need to think about as you're putting this back together is in these reed valves have a certain way that they go in you would want it as open just the open hole and this is the out so when air gets pushed in here from the piston, it pushes this reed valve out and opens that up. So then this one goes in there. So when this draws in, let's play how many circles. So now when this, this seals this hole, when that pushes, and it lets air through these two. And when that piston pulls in, this flapper, this reed opens up and allows air in from this side and push out that side. And then you're just gonna wanna take all your bolts. So you may have to sit there and think about it a little bit um, as you're putting it together but there's an obvious in and outside and your reed valves need to uh, make sense for what's going on on the in or out chamber. And you're just gonna put this guy back up here. Where's that nut at? That nut's down on there. Get all these kind of hand started. Put all those back on. Don't recommend hitting those too hard. So maybe just use a hand tool. And that 
that's all of that. And then you just got the last thing of your shroud. Back on. Goes in there and then tighten those down and you're good to go. So it's the basics of tearing down a gas compressor and either just cleaning all the parts inside or using the uh, repair kit. There you go. Hope that's helpful. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I know it's kind of a niche video for people with a gas PA263 compressor on their dredge, but there it is.